The function given here is a quotient. The top of this function is 1 minus x. Um, minus 6x to the third power, and the bottom is fairly simple at just a 3. But we want to find the derivative of this. So uh, what, the way that I'm going to do it first here is actually utilizing the quotient rule. Since it's written as a quotient, sometimes it's easier just to keep the problem as a quotient and then uh, utilize the quotient rule. So here um, we have no algebra to begin with, and we've got the derivative uh, following the form of the quotient rule. So the derivative of a quotient is going to be a quotient itself, and in the bottom would be the denominator that you see for the function uh, squared. So we're talking about 3 squared here for the bottom on the derivative. Okay. So now uh, the top is what's more complicated. It ends up being the derivative of the top. So d dx of 1 minus 6x cubed times the bottom, which is 3. The quotient rule has a subtraction sign there. And what follows is the top. And I'm going to make sure I have that all in parentheses there since it's more than one term. So 1 minus 6x cubed times the derivative of the bottom. So at this point, I have the quotient rule written out, but I still have a couple of ddx's in there, so I'm actually not finished with actually taking the derivatives yet. Um, we've got two little derivatives to take, so we want to uh, we want to do that next. I find that with the quotient rule, it's often helpful to go ahead and write out uh, the division sign there and put in your denominator so that you don't forget it. Okay. So here we've got uh, the derivative of 1 minus 6x cubed. Uh, that's a polynomial, which means we can take the derivative term by term. So the derivative of the constant 1 is 0, and then we have minus 6 times, and now we've got the derivative of x cubed. So the derivative of x cubed using a power rule would be 3x squared, because we drop the power by 1 after we bring that power down. Okay. Um, Next to that, we have it multiplied by the 3, and then we've got to subtract the 1 minus 6x cubed times the derivative of the constant 3. Well, the derivative of the constant 3 is 0, so everything that comes after that middle subtraction sign is just going to go away. So here's what we're looking at. We have um, a negative 6 times a 3x squared times a 3. So we're really looking at uh, negative 6 times 3 is negative 18, uh, times the 3 is going to be negative 36. So we're having, we're looking at negative 36 x squared and um, nothing else follows the subtraction sign because of that factor of 0. And so all of that's over 9. So when we're looking at uh, reducing this, uh, 36 has a common factor of 9. So uh, 36 over 9 just reduces to the 6. So we've got as our final answer negative 6 x squared. Okay. So now we got uh, this nice, simple answer, uh, even though the original function uh, was a quotient. And so it kind of begs you to uh, ask the question, now wait a minute, this answer here is a polynomial. Shouldn't I have started with a polynomial? Um, and we actually do if we do a little bit of algebra. So that's where I'm going to give you your alternative solution where we do a little bit of algebra first. So the sort of algebra that could be helpful, and it's really helpful simply because the denominator is pretty basic. It's just a single term, no addition or subtraction there. And even more than just a single term, it's a single number. And so what we're going to do is distribute that denominator across all of the terms that are in the numerator. So all the terms in the top. Because what we're really doing is when we divide by 3, we're multiplying by a third. So we're taking that top and multiplying the top by a third, basically distributing the third, the one third across the subtraction sign there. So um, that, that's what we're doing. We're distributing this denominator across all terms in the numerator, and we might as well go ahead and reduce that second term. Since it's got a 6 over a 3, that would reduce out to just the 2. And so we've got uh, the number 1 third minus 2x cubed. Okay? So uh, that is, in fact, a polynomial. You see that. Um, and we're ready to take the derivative of the polynomial term by term. So I put f prime of x. I'm no longer working algebra. I'm ready to take the derivative. So the derivative of 1 third, even though it's a fraction and fractions can be scary, it's still a, simply a number. 
Um, and so that's a constant, and the derivative of constants would be zero. And then we've got this uh, constant multiple where we have minus two, and then we need the derivative of x cubed. We bring down the power three, we drop the power by one to give us two, and so ultimately we're looking at zero minus something, so we don't have to have the zero in there. So we're looking at negative two times three, which is negative six, uh, x squared, which is what we got when we utilized the quotient rule and simplified our answer.